The premier was on the defensive today as BC struggles through a fourth wave. Meanwhile, Ontario took a more cautious approach and has a lower death toll. CTV's Penny Daflos now on the tough questions John Horgan is facing about BC's pandemic response. BC's ICUs are overflowing, there are long lines for COVID tests and vaccinations have tapered off in a fourth wave that can't be sugarcoated. We still have uh, unacceptably high case counts and uh, disconcerting numbers of hospitalizations. The Premier insists mandating vaccines for teachers is the responsibility of school boards, not the province. They are duly elected, they have a responsibility to their employees. Uh, first and foremost. And he insisted his government has done all it could to curb infections. It wasn't an avoidable fourth wave. It's happening around the world. And yet Ontario's fourth wave has been more of a ripple similar to their first. For weeks they've had a quarter of BC's cases per capita and less than half our deaths when adjusted for population. The difference largely between Ontario and ourselves in this instance is that we have moved to keep our economy moving. But Ontario avoided lockdowns in recent months by being more cautious even when cases were Low. We didn't really lift uh, restrictions during the summer. And then also there are mask mandates and, and uh, limits on gathering. Their schools are also tackling airborne spread of the virus with air filters, ventilation and a K-12 mask mandate from day one. All of this stuff works better if you do it proactively rather than reactively. And that seems to be a big problem for B.C. There are theories Alberta's disastrous management of COVID is impacting B.C., but their top doctor also revealed the three provinces now struggling the most had discussed similar plans for a carefree summer. Based on consulting with other colleagues, as you know, uh, the three western provinces all moved to release restrictions. Despite evidence Ontario has found a winning formula, our health officials are counting on vaccines and largely staying with the current plan. I'm not the only person who makes these decisions. I, I take full responsibility for the success and failure of the government, but uh, I, I believe that we are doing everything that we can to protect people. The Premier is proud of BC's high vaccination percentage, but it's clear now that vaccines alone may not be enough to keep cases low and our health care system running smoothly in the Delta wave. Penny Daflos, CTV News, Vancouver.